Is there a soundtrack of the human brain? If so, what is that? There are scientists in China who published in the Public Library of Science online in November of this year, 2012, uh, a study that, that looked at both EEG brain waves and functional MRIs and merged them together to make brain music in kind of an artistic style. And it's what you're listening to now. Isn't that interesting? And what does it mean? Basically, it's telling us that the brain has a language of its own that's unconscious, that is an amazing thing that we tend to really not pay attention to because it's just we just live our lives. But in actuality, we live in nature and we very unconsciously interact with sounds of nature, the light that's involved in, in nature. Every chemical reaction, for example, absorbs and gives off light. We respond to electromagnetic fields and there's a, an interesting harmony there. It's not just about biochemistry. We're actually an inseparable part of nature, but we're trying to be separate, which is, lead, which is what leads us to this dualistic kind of thinking we have, when in, actual, in, in actuality, if we pay careful attention to how the universe works, it's a unity, it's not a duality, even though we try to force that. And as we do, we live an unnatural life in, in many ways. So it's good that we can understand this, and we need to wake up to the fact that we have a kind of true inseparability uh, of ourselves with all of nature. What scares me about this, even though it's got tremendous potential for us to understand how the mind works, the mind par uh, aspect of who we are, so is Homeland Security. And of course, they're interested in using this in ways where they could affect human thought. And there's been a fair amount written about that, and, human, and Homeland Security acknowledges that it's doing work that is related to that. Now, that's the bad news, but the good news is it may be possible to change the harmony, the rhythm, uh, the sounds of how uh, the soundtrack of the human brain works. And it may, for example, change us from being in an anxious state to a relaxed state. It may help us feel good about certain things or, or warm and, and fuzzy about certain things and to avoid other things. So we're at the beginning stages of learning about how our mind works and, and how the soundtrack that can be created from both functional MR and EEG could have some important uh, benefits that are clinically good for us, but it also has this dark side as most things that are powerful like this do.